Hey there. I work full time. I work remote, which is amazing. I love coming outside and it's a double-edged sword because when I come outside, I see unfinished projects that I really want to finish. So here I am, Tuesday afternoon, early evening after work, went for a walk with my girls and now we're home. They're going to play and I'm going to dig in the dirt. Here is how I got these beds made. To make my garden beds this season, I am using these three tools, a rake, a shovel, and then this multi-hand tool. I'm using the shovel to make the outline first of the bed that I want. And then with the shovel, you can loosen up the ground around it. Then I'm using the hand tool to rip up the ground, mainly the topsoil, and remove the grass and any weeds. You see I mix up all the dirt on one side so that it's all moved around and touched and then I lay it back into place and I smooth it out with the rake. Here are my garden beds from just a few days ago. These are all onions and then this row is all garlic. The middle of this row has not been dug yet. I'm thinking about adding lettuce this weekend. One thing I have learned from last season is not to plant right before a big rain. Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, they're currently getting this huge storm and we're supposed to get it in South Carolina tomorrow. So as much as I want to plant something, I am not planting before this ginormous storm tomorrow. I have planted things in the past and then it rained just two days later and I think the seeds got stuck in the water and then worked their way out. None of those pots worked. Um, so I'm not going to make that mistake again. I think I'm going to wait till this weekend to plant something. After the storm, I'll finally get to my last, this one right here. 
garden bed. That's where my tomatoes are going to go. I'm really excited about that one. That will give me four rows total that have been made. Now I am planning on doing one more row in line with these four and then I think two over to the side. I really want to have seven beds. Seven just feels like the right number. So thank you for watching today. I really appreciate you. I just came out after work and I'm working really hard and I want to prove that even if you're working full time and you got a tight budget, you can still get this stuff done too to have your own awesome food forest in the backyard. My name is Danielle. I am the Zodiac Tiller. I thank you so much for watching and I hope that you're having a great 